Welcome to iLecture Online, and here's another example of how to use algebra to solve a max and min problem. Now, typically, max and min problems are solved using calculus, but if the equation we end up with is a quadratic equation, algebra is actually a really good way to do it. Uh, max min stands for maximum and minimum, and typically they give you a scenario where you're trying to find the maximum of something or the minimum of something. And uh, in this case, it says here that uh, find the maximum area of a triangle given that the sum of the base and the height equal 30 feet. So let's make a drawing of that. Here's a triangle. The base B at the bottom and the height H right there. And so here we're given that B plus H equal 30, 30 feet. Okay. The way you want to do maximum problems is you want to follow a, a certain technique, a certain uh, steady procedure. And we usually start out by deciding what's being maximized or minimized. In this case, we're trying to find the maximum area. So maximum area is what we're after, maximum area. Okay, so determine, first of all, why you're trying to maximize or minimize. The second thing is you want to find an equation for that. So the equation for the area of a triangle is equal to one-half the base times the height. So the second thing you do is try to find an equation that defines what you're trying to maximize. In this case, the area, so the area is one-half the base times the height. Now you notice that the area is now defined uh, with two variables, and in order for us to solve the problem, you need to have just a single variable. So you want to now find some sort of constraint, some sort of relationship between the base and the height that will allow us to write this equation in terms of just one variable. So the constraint in this case is that the base plus the height equals 30. And now if we solve this equation for one of the two variables, in this case we can solve for the base uh, equal 30 minus the height and we plug this back in the original equation over here, we now have a new equation for the area, which is now dependent on only one variable. So 30 minus h times h. So there's the same equation, but b replaced by what b is equal to in terms of h. Now when we multiply that out, we get the area is equal to 1 half times 30 times h, which is 15h minus one-half times h squared. There we go. And if I rearrange that equation with the, a, with the square term first, we've got a is equal to 0 0.5 h squared, uh, that's minus, plus 15h. There, and of course the general equation, uh, the general quadratic equation would be a equals um, a h squared plus b h plus c, and now if we're going to find the maximum or minimum area, in this case the maximum area, uh, how do we do that? What's the technique here? Well, if I look at this equation, this is the quadratic equation, and I notice that the first term, the square term, is negative, that means I'm going to get a parabola that looks something like this, where we, the parabola opens downward and it has a maximum value somewhere uh, like that. And what we're trying to do in this case is we're trying to find the maximum value. We're trying to find the maximum h in this case. All right. And since this is the vertex of the parabola, we know that h sub v, and then, of course, the other axis would be b. That would be the base, b sub v. The h sub v can be found as follows. h sub v is equal to minus b over 2a. That's the way in which you find the vertex of the, what we call in this case, the independent variable. All right, since a is equal to minus 0 0.5 and b is equal to 15, we can say that this is equal to minus 15 divided by 2 times a minus 0 0.5. So this is equal to minus 15 over minus 1 or equal to 15. So h equals 15 should give us the maximum area. Now, if h is 15, we, use, we plug the constraint in here, we get b equals 30 minus h, and since h is 15, we can also see that b must also be 15. So in other words, if the sum of the base and the height is equal to 30 feet, the largest 
area triangle that can be made is made when you let h be equal to 15 and the base equal to 15 and that gives us the maximum area a max which is equal to one half the base times the height so that's equal to one half times the base of 15 and the height of 15 now 15 down 15 is 225 one times one half that would be 100 and 12.5 square feet a max and that's how you do a problem like that so quickly recap what we just did you were given a triangle you were given that the sum of the base plus the height equals 30 feet you first determine what you're trying to maximize you then find an equation defining the variable that you're trying to maximize. So you're trying to maximize the area, and the area of a triangle is one half the base times the height. You then go look for a constraint, because since the area is, is calculated in terms of two variables, and you can't figure it out when you have two variables, you need to eliminate one of the two variables, and you do that by finding the constraint. The constraint in this case is that the base plus the height must equal 30 feet. You solve that constraint for one of the two variables, I chose B, and plug that back in the original equation right here so that when I do that I end up with an equation that's only in terms of h one variable you can see that this is a quadratic equation plugging the uh, writing the square term first and realizing the square term is negative I realize I'm going to have a parabola that opens downward that has a maximum value near the top here and then realizing that the vertex uh, the the h coordinate of the vertex can be found by finding minus b over 2a, b being the coefficient of the second term, a being the coefficient of the first term. You plug those in here, you find a value for h, use a constraint to find the value for b, and then you're able to find the total area. And that's how you solve these types of problems. All right, I can think of a few more examples, so let me see if I can get you a couple more examples of these so you feel very comfortable doing them.